Swole Benji here, and today I'm going to give you a guide on how to gank lobies. I know that sounds like you don't really need a guide to do it. Oh, this one's about to die from the mobs, so we don't want to touch this one, because the mobs might kill him, incurring a uh, durability hit. Come on. Oh, you potioned? Now you die. <laughs> Thanks for wasting a potion. Oh, ooh, this one might die. Come on, get him. Come on. Kill him, take his durability, yes! Okay. So, a lot of people are like, well, how do you efficiently gank a lobby? Uh, well, you have to be passionate about it. I have a lot of passion about ganking lobbies. As you can see, it's very fun. It, it spikes my dopamine. It, it's the only reason I even played this game. I suffered through a whole year to get geared just to do this. Isn't that, like, peak insanity? No, I think it's, uh making epic memories for both my victims and myself. It's very fun. Okay, so let's start. You need to pick a lobby area, and uh, I chose Red Ridge. Good old Red Ridge. Now, here's a cool thing. If you have the add-on Classic Codex, and you type Spirit Healer, you can then click on that there. And now your map will show the Spirit Healers in the area. So the only Spirit Healer is here. This means that when you camp someone and they Spirit res, they will go right here. So you can just travel right there and continue to kill them. Alright, so you may be asking, well, I don't play on Fair Lena. And because I don't play on Fair Lena, there's not a lot of lobies. I don't know where to find the lobies. How do I, how do I find them out? Well, I'm going to recommend the Spy add-on, which will give an annoying little beep whenever it detects enemy activity in the combat log. Your combat log down here, uh, if an enemy player does anything, it should light up. If you want to see how I have mine set up. Combat log. I have enemy players and enemy players done to and done by. That's all I have checked. Now, the first thing you'll notice when hunting a lobby is you'll see corpses of mobs. This means that uh, within the last five minutes, they've been here to kill them. Now, when you're ganking a lobby, you always want to kill the pet first because they have to revive and then feed the pet. And then you can, of course, kill the lobby. You can just straight up murder them or you can torture them. So this little fat piggy is going to get sapped, so her rump is in the air, and then I'm going to get right behind her and... Uh, pretend that I am, uh, that, that, uh, what's it? Skarm! Skarm tank! Hello! I'm Skarm! Woo! <laughs> is that too mean? Uh, the whole point is to be mean. And then you gotta teabag them, but this one already released, so the teabagging is inefficient. No one was watching me teabag. So let's, let's go to our next victim. Now, while you're scouting around, you'll notice that I'm tracking ores. You always want to have, like, a trade skill that you can steal from the area so if i saw a lobby like i don't need copper i'm not going to mine copper it's pretty worthless right but if i saw a lobby mining the copper i'm going to sap them or kill them and then mine the copper and then kill them because that adds an extra layer of salt that you want to you want to impart on your victim so as, as you can see right now there's no there's no mob corpses anywhere so there's there's no there's no there's no lobbies oh there's one remember kill the pet kill the player Give them a nice teabag. I'm hitting my X key, and I'm also unsheathing and resheathing my weapon and spinning. This is the ultimate way to teabag a lobby. As you can see, they haven't released yet. So at this point, they're um, this might be a bot or a China farmer. But if it's not, they're telling their friends, help me, help me. A level 60 is killing me in Red Ridge. Please help me. Right? And uh, you can expect some, uh, some trouble, which is always good. You can um, also warlock pets. It takes a soul shard to summon them. Pretty sure it's been a while. This one's name is Texan Summon? That's a weird fucking name. Anyway. So yeah, and um, you have two options here. Uh, you can either camp players. Like, if I find a large party of lobies, I will just stealth nearby and camp them. Now, here's an advanced technique. When a lobby is fighting a mob, you, sh you should wound them to the point where... The mob kills them and lowers their durability, which we learned earlier in the video. But hey, you do you. However you want to gank is, 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 it's up to you, man. I like to use my little torturous tools, so let's, uh, let's equip a death ray, and we're going to find a lobby, and we're going to shoot a death ray at him. I am, I am hyped for this. As you can see, there's, there's some bones there, someone's spirit rezzed, or they've been killed. I'm going to type slash who red ridge and see who else is ganking. I have a, there's a, there's a 60 orc warrior in the area. Um, his guild is not really a ganker guild, so he might just be riding through. But maybe he's just blowing off some steam, maybe he got fired from his job, maybe his girlfriend dumped him, maybe he's homeless and lives in a van. 
uh, pick one. <laughs> Maybe he gets made fun of on Reddit, you know. Uh, also, you can always gank the AFKs at the Flight Master, and you could also kill the Flight Master. One thing about guards is if you get higher up, like, above them, they can't really hurt you. So, I can just sit here and uh, I can't be hurt by the guards, and I can spam my stealth key, and when they drop combat, I will enter stealth. That does take a little while, though, and I'm not really interested in that. So I'm just going to run away. Now, when running away from town guards, you want to... You see at the bottom middle of my screen that little red bar that keeps filling up that says main hand? This is a swing timer. You want to make sure you're facing the guard whenever that fills up. Because if they hit you in the back or sometimes in the side, it counts as a back hit, which can daze you and slow you down. Also, it doesn't allow you to parry if you're facing away. So you want to make sure that you're always uh, doing that when dealing with guards. There's some other things that you can do too. If you have a ranged weapon, you can get on top of these houses here on Red Ridge, or you can be creative and be on top of trees if you want. Just, you know, just add a little bit of art to your gang. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in town right now. Another great thing about ganking is disrupting quests. Uh, in Red Ridge, there is a quest called Corporal Keyshawn, and it's a very long escort quest, the most annoying quest in the game, right? And uh, if you kill Keyshawn, it, it fails their quest. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just panning over. I'm just looking at the mobs to see if uh, if they've killed any. And you got to learn all the little safe spots in town here that you can run to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride through town and see if I can find anybody. Oh, look, here's one now. A little level tw This one's almost dead. Okay, that one's dead. This one looks like they were going to try to do belly grub. This is a level 31. This person's a little... Little big boy for this area, so let's just death ray him, see if we one shot him. Almost. I'm gonna wound him with a bow hit. It might kill him though. Oh, he bubbled. Okay, cool. So he just wasted a cooldown that's like five minutes, and now he's gonna run away from Belly Grub because he doesn't think he can make it. When I cheap shot, I'm gonna turn away so I don't hurt him, and it looks like Belly Grub just might get the kill here. And that's a durability loss 10%. Make sure to teabag. All right, so he's going to resurrect right over here. It's a very short corpse walk. If you use your timer here, you can uh, you can get a good timer down if you decide to camp one specific player. So let me just show that off real quick. we got a few more minutes. Actually, I've got 30 seconds left in the video, but you get the point. You time how long it takes for them to walk back, and then you add two minutes each time. There he is. He's up. He's going to be casting some heals. But it doesn't matter because we're level 60 and we're tier 2. Uh, I do have some tier 1. I use that so I have 120 energy. You know, you just gotta have fun with it. And uh, you want to make sure you have all your gear sets and all your gear, all your little trinkets, capes, you know, belts, everything you need. Because when the level 60s show up to kill you, you want to have the proper tools to deal with that as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Swole Benji. I really appreciate you watching. Here's an AFK player. He's gonna come back to his computer after eating dinner with his, like, parents or whatever. He's gonna be like, wow, who killed me? Wah! Right? Uh, of course, it could. It's you. It's probably like a thirty-year-old that works at a crappy office job. Anyway, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching my WoW content video. If you liked the video, please uh, consider a donation. Join the Discord and let's fucking coordinate some shit. Hell yeah! And uh, like this guard's gonna try to kill me. I'm just gonna hop up on the roof. It's not a big deal. Players will say, "Oh, they, you can get banned for safe spotting." No, no, you can't. You ain't getting banned. No one gives a fuck. I always like to line of sight because if a 60 rides by, they will jump up here and engage me. Not cool. Uh, anyway, as always, be a bro and stay swole. I actually forgot one very important tip. So before you go, this is super important at tracking people, okay? Let's pretend I don't know where this guy is, but he's fighting the Shadowhide Brute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my... Okay, wait. Damn it, I'm just going to re-record this. Or I'll edit. I'll, no, he's gonna fucking die, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna tell you because I ain't got time. Alright, so what you would do is you would see in your spy that, that he's nearby, but you don't know where. Maybe he's behind a tree or over a hill or some shit. So what you do is you click on his name, which will then target him, and you'll see that he's fighting a mob. You'll then hit your assist key or click the mob that he is fighting, and then put a mark over it. And then all you got to do is spin your camera around until you see the mark and you're like, oh, there he is. And then you just run over to the fucking mark and kill him. All right, that's that's the last tip. That's the most important tip. These lobies keep killing themselves on these mobs. Okay, yeah, like, well, I'm, I'm just going to show you. Fuck it. We'll make it a 10-minute vid instead of an 8-minute vid.
All right, let's pretend I can't see this guy. Like, I'm like, where is he, right? Because I'm just staring at a fucking wall. Is he going to fight a mob? Come on. Come on, dude. I actually have another tip now to share with you as well. I'm sorry to drag out the video, but man, I'm rushing the hell out of these. Okay, so I'm like, where the fuck is he, right? So I click his name. I have him targeted. I see these fighting a shadow hide. I'm going to select this one, put a mark on him. And it died. It died too fast. <laughs> but you get the point. You get the point. Come on. He'll he'll maybe he'll fight again. You know, it really pains me to let this guy farm. Oh, also if they're drinking, you throw a distract and they uh stop drinking, so that's kind of fun. Just a fun little tip, right? Look, you get the idea. I don't need to show an example. I don't need to stretch out this video as long longer than it needs to be. But another fun tip is, if you don't feel like riding around like you don't have an epic mount with auto carrot, you can use the ornate spyglass, and I made a video about this item, and you would zoom in. Let, let, let's say I can't see this guy, right? And you would zoom in, and your spy would detect people further than you can normally render, which would then allow you to see where the hell they're at. So, let's see if he, uh, if I, okay, he's got, he's got a boss mob targeted, so I put a mark on him. We can now look around for the mark, and we know that he's over here. So, now I just ride over and uh, gank him. Anyway, I, again, thanks guys. Oh, it, can I kill him? Can I stun him? Yeah, because you, you, you got the elite there, bro. He's just going to lay down and die? I, I'm trying not to kill him. Oh, he, yeah, he potted. Okay. Fuck your potions, dude. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh man. Whatever. Whatever. 10 minute video. Here we go. Well, 11 minute video. I don't know how long it is at this point. I better run. He does a little laugh of my. Look at that. Oh, now he's gonna die. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Come on. Yep. And teabag. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, you can do the, the cannibalize. It's a very good way to disrespect your lobies. Mmm, tasty. Alright guys, see you later.